What's up guys, Quinn here and welcome back. This week, as always, we're gonna talk about ways to make you extra money. Now, we're not talking about saving or investing this time, but ways to make some money on the side. And the best way to do that, finding yourself a good side hustle. But before we dig into different side hustle ideas, let's actually talk about what a side hustle is. In simplest terms, a side hustle is a job or gig you do in addition to your full-time position, whether that be work or school. Usually the best side hustles are a flexible form of employment so you can work on them in the mornings, in the evenings, or on weekends so that they don't interfere with your main tasks. Now to help me in my pursuit of my YouTube side hustle, make sure to go smash that like button and subscribe to my channel so I can continue making videos like these and reach a wider audience. But now we'll get back to helping you. Something to note about side hustles is that they often tailor towards your existing skill set and are things that usually you have an interest for or a passion for so that they can hold your interest. It's important that you do something that at least interests you slightly so that you don't see it as a pain in the butt when you actually have to do it. And during uncertain economic times in your life, insert COVID-19, side jobs and side hustles allow you to bring in some extra cash even if your main positions change or disappear. Now while some extra money is a nice addition, just remember that taking on more work means that you'll have to, well, do more work. Sometimes you have to make extra time commitments and make sure that it's right for you before you get into it. It can make work-life balance hard to achieve depending how much work you take on but hopefully I can give you some side hustle ideas that don't feel like work at all. So let's jump in and get started. The number one side hustle I would suggest right now in 2021 is online tutoring. With kids being out of school right now and trying to learn in a home environment, it can be extremely difficult for them to focus in class or understand all of the content. This adjustment to home learning can be extremely difficult for kids anywhere in elementary school all the way up to high school. And with Zoom classes, students are always getting the attention they need and may find it really hard to pay attention to teachers online. But that's where you come in. You're right there. Okay, that's Jake's tutor, so could you please go read somewhere else? You got him a tutor? Yeah, I wanted to graduate high school. <laughs> I'm Stu the tutor. Are you Jake? No, I'm his father. Oh. I'm Stu the tutor. If you're anything like Stu, or as you may know, Zach Galifianakis, and in school you excelled in certain subjects, anywhere from math to science to English, then online tutoring may be the right side hustle for you. Tutoring is great because you can actually schedule your tutoring sessions around your schedule and those sessions usually only last from anywhere from 30 minutes all the way up to two hours, which in the grand scheme of things is not a long time during your week. Even if you have a busy school or work life, it's pretty simple to add in one or two tutoring sessions in the week or more if you have the time. And it's great because kids usually need to be tutored after school, so most of the time you're tutoring in the evenings and that's good because it usually doesn't interfere with your daily work or your schoolwork. Parents are usually willing to pay quite a bit of money to help their kids succeed in school. And if you really enjoy working with kids of any age or have a subject that you thrive in and can teach really well and have some extra time available in the evenings, I would definitely suggest online tutoring as a side hustle for you. Now for side hustle number two, considering that we're in the middle of winter and it's continuing to stay cold and windy, Here's an opportunity to make some extra money. <gasps> Our driveway snowed in. Old man winter! <laughs> That's right. I fill your driveways with ice and snow. Stop. Mr. Plow! Hello, I'm Mr. Plow. Are you tired of having your hands cut off by snow blowers and the inevitable heart attacks that come with shoveling snow? Uh-huh. Then call Klondike 53226. Call now and receive a free t-shirt. So remember, call Mr. Plow. That's my name. That name again is Mr. Plow. If you or your family 
have a snow shovel already, then you're already ahead of the game and can get to work immediately. But if you don't, I would definitely suggest purchasing one for this side hustle. Go around the neighborhood and leave flyers in the mailbox with your phone number on them or knock on people's door and ask if you can start shoveling their driveways. At least from my experience, everyone that I know would jump on this opportunity not to have to shovel their driveway in the winter. It can be a really annoying task and I know for sure that elderly people would definitely appreciate this offer because it can be extremely difficult for them to actually shovel their driveway properly. Now depending how much snow there is in any given winter or how big your neighbor's driveways are, you can actually make some pretty good money doing this if you charge anywhere from $10 to $25 per driveway. It just depends how much money you're trying to weasel out of your neighbors. <laughs> it's also a great way to get some fresh air and some exercise and I know all of us are looking for a little bit more of that these days. And let's say you do five houses on the street in a day and you charge $20 per driveway. That's already $100 in a couple hours of your day. That's really good money and better than anything you'll make in your first real job. Now continuing down the path of doing good for your neighbors and the community, side hustle number three is offering to walk people's dogs. Again, people will jump at this opportunity just to not have to bundle up in the winter and go outside and walk their dogs for 15 minutes in the freezing cold. So instead, you can bundle up for 15 minutes and stay in the freezing cold and walk those people's dogs along with six other dogs and make some money while doing it. All right, dogs on the left, on the count of three. One, two, three, let's go. Very nice. Very good. Good. Correct him. Rain in that dog. All right. All right, class. Come on. Let's line up again. Yikes. Hopefully you don't have to deal with any dogs like Marley, but he is a cutie. And if you are a dog lover, this is definitely a great side hustle for you because you get to go around the neighborhood, meet dogs, and play with them a little bit on your walk. Now similar to shoveling snow, you can make anywhere from $10 to $20 per dog you walk. And the great thing is, this side hustle will take you no more than an hour tops for every time that you walk the dogs. That makes it super easy to fit this into your schedule either in the morning before school or work or when you get home or don't have as much work at night and on the weekends. Again, it's another excuse to get some fresh air and go on a nice walk and obviously hang out with some pretty cute puppies. Now, side hustle number four is a little bit different, but definitely an important one to include. If you're a media savvy person, as most teenagers and adults are these days, then becoming a social media manager for a company can be a great side hustle or even just a great job to start with. Now, Potter Ted, did you call a hearse for the Gremlinbergs? Mm -hmm. No, you're checking your Facebook page again. Drac, I told the guys social media is the best way to promote the hotel, right Clifton? <laughs> so, Drac, I wanted to go through some thoughts I had as your new human relations coordinating co-assistant. Sure, it's a real job, not a cheap excuse to keep Mavis happy so you'll never leave you. So if you want to be like Johnny from Hotel Transylvania, then definitely consider this job. Basically, you'll help a company create and schedule postings on their social media and you'll get to interact with their audience and their commenters. Now this is something you actually have to work out with an actual company instead of the other side hustle jobs I gave you where you can just pick up your shovel or a dog leash and get working. But even though there's a little bit more stuff to do in the beginning, this is a job that could actually lead to things down the road for you. This kind of side hustle gives you something more noteworthy to put on your resume and maybe something that employers actually see as an asset. So hopefully I've encouraged you to at least think about one of these or I've given you an idea for a different side hustle based on the ones I've talked about. It's also great to know that you're earning a bit of extra money in times where a lot of jobs have disappeared or changed or you're waiting for your job to start. And if you like this video, make sure to go smash that like button and subscribe to my channel so that I can continue to make these personal finance tips and tricks videos for you. 
Now I'll see you guys next time for my next video. Stay well until then. See you later.